today let's have a look at a bank reconciliation statement where this bank reconciliation statement is an overdraft balance as per cash book so the sum goes as from the following information prepare bank reconciliation statement as on 31st december 2017 to find out the balance as per bank statement so we are going to find the balance as per passbook or balance as per bank statement and they have given in the first line itself bank overdraft as per cash book and the rest of seven transactions over there so let's go through the sum and do the transactions one by one so we are ready with the format of the bank reconciliation statement the first line given is bank overdraft as per cash book which is going to be the first line which we are supposed to write when we start the bank reconciliation statement what kind of balance we are going to use so in this sum it is an unfavorable cash balance because they've said that it is an overdraft so we are going to write unfavorable cash balance and put the value in the outer column which is 20,000 now after this I am going to uh, put the add and the less category so after unfavorable cash balance the type of balance which I am going to use I've got add and I've got seven transactions so roughly half a page I'm going to leave and I'm going to give less so in this add and less we are going to use the items in such a way that the transactions in such a way that if the cash book increases we'll put it in the add likewise if the cash book decreases we are going to put it in the less so this is how we are going to analyze the transactions and put it in the category so the first one which we have is ba uh, checks deposited but not yet credited so check has been deposited so deposited in the sense immediately the cashier will go to the receipt side of the cash book and enter it as check has been deposited in the bank column so when we enter something on the receipt side the cash book balance increases whereas but not yet credited means in the bank credit means deposit the double entry system in a bank is just the opposite of how we use it so credit means deposit therefore for the bank they have said it is not yet credited so bank is decreasing and cash is increasing so when cash is increasing i'm going to put it in the add category so check deposited not yet credited 4000 in the inner column next we have is check issued but not yet presented for payment issued means you're paying someone so whenever you pay someone through check they will go to the payment side the cashier will go to the payment side and will record it as the check has been issued so when you record anything on the cash book payment side your cash book decreases therefore cash book is decreasing then they have said it is not yet presented for payment in the bank so the person to whom we have issued is not yet gone to the bank and taken the amount withdrawn the amount presented for payment so passbook is still there with that money so passbook is increasing and cash book is decreasing so when cash book is decreasing we are going to put it in the less category check issued but not presented for payment 1000 in the inner column next we have is rent collected by bank so a collection is done by the bank okay as per standing instruction so as per the instruction given by the customer bank directly collects it so bank receives the amount so passbook is increasing whereas there's no record about it in the cash book so cash book is decreasing so when the cash book is decreasing we will record it in the less category next moving on into the next one interest on overdraft debited by bank so as we have credit as a deposit concept credit uh, debit in a bank is withdrawal so passbook is decreasing bank is charging an interest over the order of balance which a customer maintains so passbook decreasing if the passbook is decreasing this is not at all recorded in the cash book 
so cash book is increasing so put it in the add category moving on to the next one amount wrongly debited by the bank so debit again is withdrawal in the bank and they have wrongly entered an amount on the withdrawal side means the passbook decreases and again the cash book is increasing because it has no record of this wrong debit therefore it is increasing so put this item on the add category so next we have is check issued on 30th december 2017 dishonored by the bank so whenever it is dishonored we are issuing a check and it is dishonored in the sense we will record it in the cash book as the opposite entry so from the payment side we are receiving back the check so that we have to honor the check that is we have to see to that we maintain a balance in order for the check to be honored so cash book balance also is less and the passbook balance also is less since we are uh, we have a check which is dishonored so therefore check issued on 30th december 2017 so we have issued the check we have paid the check which is dishonored so obviously when we pay the check also we will write it on the payment side therefore it is cash book which is less so put this on the less category next transaction is a customer's check deposited in the bank dishonored by bank not record in the cash book so a customer has given us a check and we have gone and deposited into the bank so when we deposit something into the bank we'll write it on the receipt side we have received a check so receipt side we would have recorded it that check is dishonored by the bank so the pass book will be less whenever it's a dishonor there's no money in the account of that particular customer or if it is going to be our check it is us so here the customer didn't have money so the bank has dishonored our check so our pass book did not receive any money through the check whereas in the cash book as soon as we have received a check we would have written it on the receipt side therefore this is showing an increase in the cash book balance so put it in the add category so with that all the transactions are over so now i am going to first add the inner column and put it in the outer column so 468300 we get so in the outer column already i have an unfavorable cash balance which is 20000 so I am going to add this eight thousand three hundred with this twenty thousand, so I get twenty-eight thousand three hundred in the outer column. So now moving on to the less category, I have three items in the less, so I am going to first add that three item and push it to the outer column. So I get six thousand five hundred. So now, first I must see whether it is possible to. subtract 6500 from 28300 yes it is possible therefore i get an unfavorable if it is possible whatever i have here on top i'm going to write the same thing except i will change this cash as bank balance okay so it is possible to subtract therefore i'm going to write the same one which is on top so it is going to be an unfavorable balance as per pass book or bank statement so now i got to subtract it and put the value in the outer column so when i subtract it i get 21800 If my video was helpful please do subscribe comment like and share